Let's look for this Dollar Comics. Avengers Academy. Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Welcome back to another exciting comic book haul. Let's just go ahead and knock it out because I, this is going to be a big one. All right. These are basically 40 cents. Ghost Spider uh, looks like a new series featuring uh, Spider Gwen. Star Wars, Adventures, The Clone Wars, Battle Tales. Looks like IDW also has a uh, copyright for that. Catwoman, 100 page special for 40 cents. Why not? It's going to be a good read. Pretty awesome cover. We have this X-Men variant edition featuring a Phoenix. Kind of looked like Art Germ. It is Art Germ, you see. I recognize that's his autograph. I don't have too many Art Germ ones. So hard to find these early G.I. Joe one, number 64. There's no, uh, this is not a key issue, but um, I just thought it would be cool to, you know, own some of these G.I. Joe considering how cheap they are. Beavis and Butthead. I just wish this was number one. I heard they were making a revamp of Beavis and Butthead. Absolute Carnage, Miles and Morales can't go wrong with uh, you know Carnage with Miles and Morales comics. Main Spider-Man 25 this is a 60-page spectacular, so it's gonna be a good read. Pretty awesome art too. I want to say Humberto Ramos. I could be wrong, but that looks like his signature art. Ah, uh, you can't go wrong with Star Wars comics. This is Age of Resistance featuring Captain Phasma, number one variant edition. Pretty nice cover right there. Batman, Superman, everybody's got to have some of these blank sketch ones, right? So hard to find them in a pure white. I can't believe this was just for 40 cents. Snyder, Capulo, they're back again. My favorite team up, you know, volume two of Batman. This is Batman Last Night on Earth, book two. Pretty badass Bane cover with Scarecrow. This is a black label. I bet you this cost like probably $8. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Dark Temple. Number four, we got Star Wars Allegiance featuring Ben Solo. Oh, that's number two, by the way. Here is Miles Morales, a little absolute carnage variant edition. I don't know the scale of this, like the body parts are like uh, just outrageous. Immortal Hulk, number 18. This is the second printing. You got Star Wars Darth Vader, number four. Here's the X Factor, number one. Who knows how many volumes this? I could say probably like six volume. There's another absolute carnage uh, for all you carnage venom lovers right there. I think they're getting too carried away. Just Marvel is just pumping out way too much venom carnage. I know it's popular, but it's like you guys are diluting the market, ruining collectability. That's just my opinion, though. What do you guys think? See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here's a Venom uh, Marvel's X variant. You know, for 40 cents, yeah, I would buy it, but not for cover price. Heck no. Here's Death's Head 2 Gold Edition variant cover. Um, I heard Death's Head might have a possibility of making it into the MCU, considering, you know, they're doing a time variance, time travel, stuff like that. I'm not sure he's popular enough to be in MCU. I hope I'm wrong. Vampirilla, Red Sonja. That's the um, blank cover, and here is kind of like an Adam Hughes looking cover. Nice one. Here's some Moon Knight number 50. I think this is where Moon Knight, this is a die cut cover by the way. This is what die cut means. Gimmicks. 90s gimmick. This is when uh, Moon Knight left the Avengers, I think. Here is Venom number 20. Uh, 2099 variant. Harley Quinn's Villain of the Year. I've just started collecting these sexy covers. Here is a Xenoscope Unbound number one. Gotta admit, this made it into my top 10 sexiest combo covers of all time. And also including this one. Here's a Lady Death one. Pretty badass. Gotta admit, Lady Death, Lady Death have some of the sexiest covers of all time. That rival with uh, Vampirilla. Here's Flash 750. It's gonna be a good read. I think it's like a 100 page spectacular. 
Awesome cover, by the way. Speaking of awesome cover, here's a, I think this is John Tyler Christopher. Um, variant, Powers of X, number two, action figure variant, Mystique. Sexy N variant. Here's the Exosaurus. Uh, creation number one, variant edition, black and white sketch variant edition. And here is Deadpool number one, variant edition. Continuing on, I don't know why that's making a noise. Um, so we have Deadpool number one. I think this is volume, who knows, seven, eight. <laughs> I lost track a long time ago. Superman, Tarzan, Sons of the Jungle. I thought this Dark Horse and DC Elsewhere one so hard to find. And spectacular art by Meglia, I think. Look at how awesome this art is. It's very unique. I like it. Speaking of team ups, here's a Darkness and Superman team up you don't see too often. Morbius. And, uh, well, it looks like disconnected. <laughs> So Morbius, the living vampire number one. This features the first appearance of uh, Elizabeth. And here is the variant edition. The Bluetooth is connected successfully. If you guys, have, guys haven't seen the review, make sure you check it out. The Bluetooth is connected successfully. And we have a whole bunch of these uh, Spawn 300 history making. Um, this is the first cameo of She Spawn. And also the Redeemer turns into the Reaper. And featuring the interior artwork by Tom McFarlane. First time since 1995. So that's a long time ago. But this came out probably, I would say, like two or three years ago. I'm not sure. Um, so he. That was, this is a regular cover. Here are some of these uh, variant covers. This is a black and white variant cover. Sketch and white here is a um, blank cover. These are super thick, guys. Look at the cover price, it's like $8. And here's the another uh, black and white cover. Here is the another variant the cover. I like this one. It's kind of like a Fedro. And here is another black and white cover spawn can't go wrong with spawn looking forward to the spawn 2 or the revamp of the movie can't wait for that here's undiscovered country from image comics this one is the upcoming new republic picture movie written by scott snyder so it's uh, in the make green arrow number 13 featuring the first appearance of this person called first full appearance and cover of uh, anomatopia I probably butcher that name. Here is number 40, featuring the first appearance of Brick. Infinity Crusade, I know you guys probably have, a lot of you guys have this, features the first appearance of um, the goddess, the embodiment of Adam Warlock's good side. I think that's pretty dumb storytelling. Venom number 27, that just came out in 2020, last year, featuring the first appearance, first full appearance of Codex, first alternate reality agent Venom. Dr. Afro number one, finally having my collection. Uh, first appearance are Ronan Tag. And this was just sitting in a separate box, but I'm glad I decided to use Key Collector app. Highly recommend it. Mouse Guard Shadows Within by Peter Davison. This is from, uh, uh, what studio is this? This is from uh, ASP Comics. This one is, for some reason, is uh, highly collectible, selling for like $27. Man, I couldn't believe my eyes when I found this. This is a different comic book store, by the way. Uh, they were charging $4, but the mark means, red mark means $2. Look at it, it's signed. As it turns out, this one is signed by um, Greg Rucker, who's the writer, and Derek Robertson, who is the artist. I keep on disconnecting. Something is wrong. Maybe I have too much Bluetooth going. I got floodlights, and that's connected. Different comic book store right here. This is a uh, dollar. Lex Luthor, You're the Villain. This features the first uh, appearance of Doom Thor and Young Lex. Batman Chronicles number 21. This is the first um, published work by Brian Michael Bendis at DC Comics. Damage number one. This features the first appearance of Damage Ethan Avery. 
uh, first appearance of uh, Alejandro. So basically, the story is that for one hour a day, Ethan tra- turns into this in- pretty much indestructible monster. I don't know if he's a villain or a hero. Probably a vi- villain turned hero, I'm guessing. And here's another um, collectible store that I went to. Uh, from the dollar section, I decided to grab all the Michelle Obama comics because I told you I'm collecting these political comics. Still have yet to find Donald Trump. I asked, I talked to the store owner, they said they've had it before, but I guess they all sold it. I was so happy to find these uh, gargoyles. So you know how hard it is to find these? So here's number two for a dollar. All right, now I'm going to take you guys to Half Price Books. Um, this is free because it's a free freebie, Amazing Spider Man sketchbook. Uh, actually, it's a astonishing X Men sketchbook. This is the flip side. Who is a. I've never seen this before. El Ganon, based on a hit free to play MMO game, so it's video game based. Free in game code inside. And I was happy, so happy to convince them to give this to me free. Marvel Superhero Adventure. Um, Universal Studios Island Adventures is one of these giveaways and I did a little research on eBay is selling this for like people are selling it for like 30 to 50 dollars or so wow so these collectibles you know it's hard to have in good condition so be on the lookout for that Infinite Crisis number three. This features the uh, first Jamie Reyes, a uh, first appearance Jamie Reyes, who happens to be the third Blue Beetle, first full and cover appearance of the third Blue Beetle. Uh, sorry, my bad. That's a different one. Hold on. This is Infinite Crisis number five. It's the first full and cover appearance of the third Blue Beetle. This is the one to be look out for. Uh, Anguel. Angel Manuel Soto will direct the upcoming movie. So there is definitely a movie that's confirmed. Yo, I couldn't believe my eyes when I found this. I know we are all familiar with the regular cover, but this is variant cover. That's why you got to pay close attention, guys. Final Crisis number seven. This is the variant edition featuring the first appearance of Calvin Ellis, the third black Superman in the alternate universe. I think Earth 23. First partial cover appearance of Calvin Ellis also. I think he's somewhere in here up there. Yeah. And also the second appearance in Death of Mandrake. Not that we care about that. Yo, I could not believe it's sitting in their dollar section. Gargoyles number one. I used to own a copy. I sold that one year ago. Finally have another copy. So this is uh, created by Marvel Comics. And Disney has the ownership right now, right? And there's a lot. It's very popular. Uh, it's this current show that's running, animation, I think. So first appearance of Disney's Gargoyles in a comic book. Uh, there, there's a possibility, slim possibility of an upcoming live show. Hopefully that works out. Who knows? Look at these. Abbot number uh, one. So this is dollar. You see how it's marked down from $3? These are all a dollar. And why did I grab three copies, why you ask? Because this is optioned by Paramount Plus. Streaming for TV. It's already confirmed. Another one of these TV shows. I've never seen this cover before. By the way, this is dollar. Bomb Queen 4. Suicide Bomber. When I looked on the cover, I was like, hold on. That looks like a female version of Spawn. As it turns out, it's Rise of She Spawn. Every, first time ever seeing uh, She Spawn appearing on the cover. You know, Wow. And I did some research. People are trying to sell this for like $30 or $40 because it's so hard to find. I think it's pretty cool. Sexy cover too. 
Savage Dragon number 12. I finally have it as a mini key issue. First appearance. But this is features the first full appearance of She Dragon. Yeah. The Hero Discover Mage by Matt Wagner. This is from Comical Comics. I think this is Bronze Age because it barely fit this current age bag. First appearance of Kevin Matchstick, reincarnation of King Arthur with Excalibur depicted as a glowing baseball bat. I've seen plenty of Mage, now I finally know what is the story behind it. Avengers Academy, Fear of Self number 20, featuring the first appearance of White Tiger, Ava Ayala. Avengers this is symbol number 503 featuring the first appearance of, uh, 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 my bad, the death of Aragitha Harkness. First mention of Chaos Magic. Trending up, this is one to look out for. Glory Angela crossover. Uh, number one featuring the first appearance of Dark Child. Of course, Angela is supposed to appear supposedly in the upcoming Thor, I think. Marvel has the ownership now. Young Avengers, number five, featuring the first official team appearance of Young Avengers. Kate Bishop, Weekend, Hulkling, Kid Loki, America Chavez, and Nanvar. I have no idea who the heck is Nanvar. Let's look through this A section. Action Comics. One, two. I believe this is my fourth copy of uh, Action Comics number nine. I all I was fortunate to find a combo pack one. That's of course going to top loader. It's already in the top loader for five dollars for this. Yes, this features the uh, second appearance um, of second appearance and origin of Calvin Ellis. Yes, and lastly. I am so glad I used Key Collector. Hackslash, my first Maniac. Second printing though. Now, pay close attention to the cover. Very, very uh, stylistic art, right? As it appears, this is very second printing, drawn by Jenny Fryson, pretty famous artist, especially female artist, not too many in the combo industry. And that's to finish out the haul. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. As always, happy collecting.